uh, actually taunted Hindus for the absence of reprisals in that area, in Bhavnagar, during the VHP uh, called Ban. On February 28, there was a VHP Ban. An unsourced report in uh, the Bhavnagar edition of Sandesh said, Hindus were burnt alive in Godra, and leaders in Bhavnagar did not even throw a stone in the name of the Ban. Ahmedabad, Vadodara, and Rajkot partly avenged the killing of Hindus in Godra. In the name of, in, in the case of Bhavnagar, the gutless leaders are hiding their faces under the guise of non-violence. This is not in a pamphlet uh, being distributed by VHP. This was in uh, the Bhavnagar edition of uh, the largest circulated, the then largest circulated Gujarati newspaper. Now, this was taken up uh, by, um, I mean, instances of this nature were uh, taken note of uh, by uh, Editor's Guild, and that was the reason why. I mean, it is not very often that, uh, you know, uh, a journalistic body would uh, uh, talk against, uh, you know, people from their own fraternity. And this is not a weakness that is uh, uh, peculiar to journalists. I mean, you would not come across uh, say bar council taking action against uh, errant lawyers or a medical council taking action against errant doctors. I mean, we know about how there is a tendency to gang up. Despite, uh, uh, I mean, such uh, uh, a weakness, uh, you know, that is apparent in all such situations, if uh, you have uh, an example of this nature, uh, 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 Editor's Guild report, saying such harsh things about uh, uh, the conduct of uh, Gujarati newspapers, it was because of such examples. And um, the, uh, the, the, this matter was taken up by SIT, the conduct of um, journalists in, um, during the Gujarat violence. And this was cited by uh, Zakia Jafri as evidence of, as further evidence of conspiracy because post violence, uh, Modi gave commendation letters to Sandesh, Gujarat Samachar, and a few other publications which had this kind of uh, shrill, over the top, inflammatory reportage. And uh, the, it was a letter that uh, he had uh, given. Uh, it, it, that letter had the same text, and um, it, I must read out that letter in before I conclude. And, and this was written without uh, a sense of irony. He said, "I am happy to note that your newspaper exercised restraint during the communal disturbances." <coughs> and uh, needless to add that uh, the ones that actually maintain moderation, newspapers like say. Uh, Indian Express or Times of India, which did extensive reportage of those of the violence, or you know, TV channels like say Star News or whatever, the, they were all excluded from this kind of commendation letter. The ones who were given this commendation letter only were only these kind of uh, newspapers, which were pulled up by the Editors Guild. Uh, and Editors Guild found uh, their conduct so serious that it actually recommended that the state should take action against them. And uh, it was this unusual instance of uh, uh, a journalistic body telling the state to take action against uh, errant news uh, newspapers. And uh, what was even more unusual was that uh, the uh, government, the state government of Gujarat showed absolutely no willingness to take any action against them. And uh, it was for reasons that are obvious and understandable. On this note, I'd like to end. I think I exceeded, far exceeded my half an hour limit. I'm sorry for that. Thanks, Parvaj, for the excellent lecture. Any questions? This, uh, um, I'm, my name is Pramod Shamba. I'm from an organization called National Network for India Trust. Um, and we have a center for innovation and reinventing it. With 
this known to many of us and knowing where we are with elections in India. Uh, how do we look upon the future? Should we have a fascist regime coming into power in India? For you, this meeting is to talk about uh, media coverage or media cover-ups of um, mass violence, of riots, and uh, the subsequent fact-finding. And uh, what we see is that, um, I mean, there is a uh, tendency on the part of the mainstream media to soft-pedal these issues. Um, I, I might sound like an interested party, but I thought uh, my book, uh, The Fiction of Fact-Finding, which came out a couple of months ago, uh, had some very important disclosures. It questioned uh, this uh, much-touted uh, clean chit uh, given to Modi by the SIT, 